Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to Friday's Word at One. And uh, we are continuing our series on the Psalms that we began just a week ago. And uh, we're so grateful that so many folks have uh, responded to uh, just uh, video themselves and uh, maybe add a comment or a prayer. Uh, it's not compulsory by any means. Uh, and sent them in to us. So we're delighted that Sandy uh, is uh, going to uh, lead us in Psalm 27. Tremendous Psalm. The Lord is um, the, my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear. Very appropriate at any time, um, but particularly just now. So I'm just going to hand over to Sandy and she will uh, take it from there. Be blessed and encouraged. Hello everyone, I hope you're all well today. I hope you're enjoying this fabulous weather that we've been having this past week. And it was really interesting to hear on the news that we are going to be taking some cautious steps out of this lockdown. And I for one just can't wait until we can get to the hairdressers again and get, do something with our hair. Um, I would just like to read a psalm that really encouraged me during a really horrible time that I was going through. And I just want to share it with you today and just encouraging you um, as we read it, to think of how life has been and how we will get through it in the end. This is a psalm that was written by David when he was in despair. And in Psalm 27, we see that David had his ups and downs. Just as you and I have ups and downs through this life, so he had the same ups and downs. He wasn't in a privileged position to always find things easy. And when we go through these difficult times, we need to remember the good times that God has given us so that we can hold on to the future and just know that God is going to get us through this. He didn't promise life would be easy. He didn't promise that everything would come up roses, but he did promise that he would be with us and he would see us through to the end. And if we believe that, then we can get through anything. So let's read Psalm 27. It starts with, Trust in the Lord and be not afraid. This is the Psalm of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation, of whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, come upon me to eat up my flesh, they shall stumble and fall. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and, and, to, and to inquire in his temple. For the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies around me. Therefore I will offer in his ta tabernacle Sacrifices of joy, I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry upon my voice, have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou saidst, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face from far from me, put not thy servant away in anger, for thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God, of my salvation. When my father and my mother shall forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in the plain paths because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over to the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses have risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. And as David says, we need to just wait on the Lord and know that he will strengthen us and get us through difficult times. This isn't the end. There's a rainbow in sight. There's light at the end of the tunnel, and we will get through this. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you that you've been us with us through thick and thin. You've never left us and you've never deserted us. Lord Jesus, I know that we will come through this with you by our sides. And we trust you with everything that we have in us. In Jesus' precious name, amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the 
stronghold of my life Of whom shall I be afraid When evil men come to me And use their tongues against me When enemies attack me They will stumble and fall One thing I will come to ask of God the Lord This is what I seek That I may live within the Lord's own house All the days of my life To gaze upon His beauty To seek Him in His temple He'll hide me in His shelter And He'll lift me up high Then I will be raised above my enemies Who are all around I'll go to His place and make Sacrifice with a shout of joy. I'll sing and bring him music. I'll sing and bring him music. I'll sing and bring him music as I sing to the Lord. Sing to the Lord. He is my light, my salvation. Sing to the Lord. He is my light, my salvation. Shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid when evil men come to me and use their tongues against me? When enemies attack me, they will stumble and fall. Then I will be raised above my enemies who are all. Sacrifice with a shout of joy. I'll sing and bring him music. I'll sing and bring him music. I'll sing and bring him music as I sing to the Lord. Sing to the Lord. He is my light, my son.